President Kennedy takes his leave, an admirer succeeds in expressing the younger generation's satisfaction with the relationship between Germany and the United States. And that seems to make it unanimous here in Bonn today. One day later in Hanau, for the arrival of their commander-in-chief, the Seventh Army has assembled a collection of weapons under the banner of the U.S. forces in Europe. U.S. soldiers and their families are gathered together here in Germany, nearly 4,000 miles from home, to welcome their president. Accompanied by Vice Chancellor Erhardt and Foreign Minister Schroeder, the President places himself in the hands of his forces. The parade once again underlines the political reasons for Kennedy's European visit. French, Canadian, and German units stand side by side with the NATO-affiliated American troops before the President. Moon River, one of Mr. Kennedy's favorites, floats over the parade area. Clearly, the president is doing a thorough job of this visit with the troops. They represent American strength in Germany, on the periphery of the free world, a warning off of communist aggression. For a geographical fact cannot be overlooked. The border of the Soviet zone of Germany is less than 60 miles away, and behind it are Soviet divisions. Kennedy speaks to his fellow countrymen, but his words contain a clear message to his European partners. For the past 18 years, the United States has backed up its belief in a free world by making many personal and financial sacrifices. General, members of the division and the Corps, I want to express my special thanks to my countrymen who served the United States over 3,500 miles from our own shores. Never in history as a country had so many of its sons serving so far away from their own land in a time of danger, not for the purpose of conquest, but for the purpose of freedom. Stretching all around the globe, there are Americans on duty who help maintain the freedom of dozens of countries who might now be engulfed if it were not for this long, thin line which occupies such a position of responsibility guarding so many gates where the enemy campfires in some cases can be seen from the top of the wall. In these days, we depend upon God, and we also depend upon our soldiers. We thank you. At 2 o'clock, four hours after his arrival, President Kennedy takes leave of his uniformed countrymen and gives himself over again to his German civilian host. 